Okay, so my name is, is Mark Lynn and I work for uh, Catalyst IT in our, in our Europe office. But obviously, as you'll see from all the red shirts all around the place, we're, we're worldwide. Um, and feel free to, if you, if you want any follow-up information about this session, feel free to reach out to any of the red shirts uh, that are here and we'll, we'll gladly follow up with you. Okay, so just to give you an overview as to what I'm going to be chatting about today, I want to give an introduction to frameworks, to evaluation frameworks, uh, as to why you might need them and the benefits of having them. I want to talk about a particular framework that we focused on and how we then uh, converted this or, or modified it to be LMS focused. And then I want to explain to you the process that we went through and then obviously show you what the end product looks like and what you will get to use later on. All right. So that's a, a quick overview. And I know we have 10 minutes to get through that as quick as we can. We will, I'll, I'll welcome any questions, but if we can hold them to the end, that would be great. Okay. So what are evaluation frameworks? You'll see there from the definition on the screen, and I'm not going to, to uh, go through it word for word, right? But what they do is they give you as an institution, they give you a structure, to give you a systematic way to review your VLE, to review in, in your case Moodle, and see how good it is, where you can improve, where your weak points are, where your strengths are, okay? And give you, as I say, the systematic way in order to do that. And there are tons of frameworks out there to evaluate everything and anything you can think of. In this case, we're looking at, at Moodle, at the LMS, okay? And in terms of the benefits of them, what we have here, and again, I'm not going to read through all the list. You can see that there in front of you, but just to, to pick out a, a few bits and pieces why you would want to do this, it will give you, if you want to do it as part of a quality assurance process, it will give you that insight. It will help you strategically plan how you uh, roll out your LMS. And I was talking to, to um, some colleagues over lunch, <coughs> excuse me, who are part of a consortium in, in Canada. And what I was saying to them is they could actually have a, an overview of their entire consortium and how mature their instances are of Moodle. And therefore, they can learn off one another. This is a key strength here. This institution has a key strength somewhere else. How can we, we take the learnings from each of the institutions and share that so everybody benefits? It will also then allow you to look at resource optimizations and allow you to look at where do we need more time and effort and, and uh, person power to uh, improve where we want to be. So th they're the, uh, the reasons why you would have an evaluation framework. As it says, what we want to be able to do then is give you a Moodle version of these frameworks. So. What does it actually look like? A typical framework broken down, and you'll see it there on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it will have a number of headings, and then under each heading, it will give you some areas of activity, areas to, to focus in. And then it will ask you a question. Typically, the question will say, here's a list of statements. Which one closest relates to you? Right? That, that's typically when you'll tick the box, and then you'll move on to the next question. All right? At the end of it all, then, it will give you a a score or an evaluation. And in this case, in the example of this framework, we said, well, you're emerging, you're doing all right, or you're, you're established, or you're mature, right? So if, if you want to use a metal analogy, you're a bronze, or you're a silver, or you're a gold. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's um, what we want to do. That's what a typical framework looks like. So then where do we come in from in our perspective? I said I would chat to you about JISC. JISC is an organization over in the UK that's responsible for uh, a whole series of, of developments around IT infrastructure associated with the higher education sector. They've done some superb work, and I would highly recommend <coughs> going to their website and seeing all sorts of resources available to you. But one that jumped out with us was this digital transformation framework for a university sector to, to look and see where they're at and how they can, uh, as an institution, strategically map out the next couple of years. So what they have is they've highlighted the six different topics, those headings, if you remember my, my previous slide, and we're looking at it really from a teaching and learning point of view, but also from a technical point of view. And looking at it from, you'll see there, organizational culture or knowledge management and sharing, what you're doing in analytics, how your infrastructure is placed up. You'll see all these headings and they all hopefully will make sense to you when it comes to the questions. 
Each one of these areas then breaks down. If you remember, I was saying it breaks down into the areas of activity. And you'll see on the screen the six of them we have there. And just looking at the, the top corner there, we have organizational culture. That will look at your digital culture and your mindset within your organization. It will look at your organizational well-being and your organizational change and, and uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Each of these, we have questions that will drill down into it. But in this circumstance, we've modified these questions to be LMS focused, right? To look at, in our case, Moodle. So just to explain to you, that's, that's what we've done. That's what the, the, the logic is. <clears throat> so what's it going to look like or what does it look like? Because we have it made now at this stage. This is a Moodle page. This is a Moodle page with your topic for each one. And we have a questionnaire for each one of the headings, right? So because the IT manager may want to answer the IT questions, the teaching and learning uh, director may want to answer the teaching and learning questions, but it will uh, allow whoever the delegated person is or delegated team, it's much better if we could get a, a team doing this evaluation, to go through the necessary questions, answer them, and then it will collate them all into the one report for you. Okay? So very simple for anybody that wants to use this tool, they log on to our Moodle site, and then they'll go through it and get this self-assessment questionnaire, self-assessment report made for them. So just to show you then what that actually looks like. Uh, a sample question could be, and I mentioned it earlier on, and I'm not going to read through the text, but you'll see there the, the question text on top, uh, the area that it's related to, and then a couple of different options. And you look down through and you choose the best one that suits your organization. And like all of these tests, Every question is going to be, isn't going to be an exact match to you and to what works, but you choose the best one that uh, matches what you have. And then the end result <coughs> is you get graphical representations of each one of the, uh, those areas that I mentioned, each one of those, those headings, to show you where you are and indeed allow you to set targets as to where you want to be. And associated with those, those graphs that will come out, you will also get feedback I appreciate it's a, it's a bit small text for people at the, at the back to read. But <clears throat> what you have here is the question, the response you gave. And I've just put down here under feedback, you're enhanced to mature. But obviously what we will do in the, in the real thing is we will write down text to show you how you get from the bronze to the silver or how you get from the silver to the gold. So each one of the responses will have customized feedback for you to take away embed into your quality assurance reports or embed into your strategic plan or however you want to use this particular report. Um, from our perspective and just doing the, the sort of the sales pitch, we'd like you to do this self-assessment, see where you want to improve and then pick up the phone and ask us, can you help us get from bronze to silver or silver to gold and so on. But this is what we want to do. This is the reason why we want to make this available, freely available to everybody here uh, in the platform to allow you self-evaluate how good your system is, prove to the powers that be as to how good it is, or indeed um, prove to the powers that be, I need more resources in order to take this to the next level. So this will allow you, hopefully, this will allow you take Moodle to the next level within your, your sort of institution. And just to summarize uh, now with this, I actually forgot this development timeline to, to explain where we are. In the timeline side, you'll see we sort of started off with some internal focus groups within Catalyst, looking at the questions and seeing, well, how can we change that from the JISC question, looking about digital transformation? How can we change that to be Moodle related? And then we've gone out to clients and we're still in that process of going out to clients to uh, validate the questions with them, ask them for their feedback. And I'd love your feedback from it as well after you've used it and said, actually, Mark, you need to make this question a bit better. Or it'd be great if you had an extra question in that asked about X, Y, and Z. And, but that's the sort of timeline process. And what we're doing today is officially releasing the tool. And you'll see if you call over to the Catalyst stand, there's a competition that we have. Anybody wants to log in and register there, you will, um, there will be a winner that will be taken from it that we will give a free day's consultancy on top of that to show you how to interpret your report and take it to that next level. So... In summary, what we have there is these strategic plans, whether you're a systematic evaluation, quality assurance, an evaluation framework is your friend. It's something that's definitely very useful to you. Um, we've aligned it with JISC on purpose. We decided not to go down our own road and try reinvent a wheel. 
when uh, frameworks like this already exist. And it's a free service. We want to open it up to the entire community and we'd love to get your feedback. And if you want to meet me, scan that code and that'll get you a link to my diary and we can go from there. So thank you very much. Thank you.